Well, hi guys and gals, it's me, George, the shade tree fix it man. And yep, I'm under the shade tree. Lots of shade trees in my yard. Yes, sir, that's why we call it Shady Acres. So, I had this uh, Troy built lawnmower given to me. Um, big dog and I went and picked it up yesterday. And it's been sitting for at least two years. There's no more belt on it. Both, uh, all four tires were flat. We were able to pump up the back ones. The front ones I have replaced already. The battery was flat, flat, dead. So I replaced it with a good used one that I have. And uh, it's been sitting outside. You can see how grungy it is, including the seat. And I'm going to clean the seat before I sit on it because I got to sit on it to try and start it. So uh, I thought I'd bring you along with me. This is a 19 horsepower Kohler engine. Um, it's a pretty decent engine from what I understand. And it does have a problem with the steering. Yep. So I have no idea what the problem is with that. My goal is to get it running mainly. And if I can get it running and it runs decent, then I will see about fixing the steering. And I will probably use this for a yard cart, a yard tractor, just to haul my lawn trailer around with. It's either that or if this doesn't work out well, I am rethinking this mower here. Everything on this mower was good except for the motor. So I'm going to still going to try and get the motor running and hopefully that will get put into the goofy cart. Double our horsepower. So hold on to your hats. And I'll take you along with me and we'll see what we can find. I already looked down inside the gas tank. It's empty, but it's nice and clean in there. So that's a good place to start. So I'm going to clean the seat first off. And uh, then we'll bring some gas down, put some gas in it, and see what happens. Well, even if nothing else on the lawnmower works out, it's got a good seat. So I checked the oil and it was low and I added some in. And I decided I'd check the air filter before I tried starting it. And a good thing we did. Look at that mess down in there. So we're going to have to clean that out. Hopefully it didn't get behind that and into the carburetor. We'll check it out. Now let's see what happens when we pull this off of here. Well, that looks pretty good. Fairly clean inside there. You can definitely see where they were living in there and peeing and all that good stuff. But it looks fairly clean back in there. So we're going to take a chance. Clean this junk out of here. Got to get a screwdriver so I can get in under there. And uh, there's down inside the carburetor. Don't look perfect, but it don't look too bad. Looks like it stayed outside here. What do you think? We'll take a chance. Hold on to your hats. That might give an indication of how things are on this machine. Wire tie holding your tie rod on place. Oh yeah. Well, I gave it a squirt of starting fluid down there. I put a little bit of chainsaw oil, 50 to 1 mix. And uh, we're going to give it a try. Oh, chickens are going crazy. Let me see here. And there's a choke. Is that a choke? No, that's here's the key way down here. Which one of these is a choke? Is there a choke on this? 
Okay. The choke is on the throttle. So you push the throttle all the way up like that. Let's see what happens. Nothing. A little bit of a growl. Okay. Going to have to do a little more investigation. See what's up with what. So you saw me dragging it around uh, with the big tractor right there and uh, after a little more investigation it's got an electrical problem uh, we've got the new battery in it and it'll click and then it goes off and it loses all power to the ignition switch so my next step is to pull this fuel tank off so I can get in at the wiring and uh, check a few things out. So that'll be part two, where we'll finish up getting this unit running. I'm confident that we will. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, sharing, all them good things. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying bye for now.